think your instructor will sign you off? Oh, I'll make him say. Yeah. 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 You might find him a job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Gavin Napper. I'm area director for Morgan Sindel. We're on site here at the moment constructing the student accommodation block at the National Construction College. Hi Gavin. Hi Bill, nice to see you again. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, a little bit nervous, but uh -huh. I'm here today really because yep. being a director, it's not all about just walking around construction sites and people thinking that here comes another suit. Um, we just wanted to show support for apprentices and you know, show them that we're not scared of, of getting our hands dirty and being here on site as the main contractor, I thought it was a great opportunity really to take advantage of the um, environment that we're working in here at Bertram Newton. All ready for this? Yeah, I yeah? think so. Yeah. Any experience with concrete at all? Not really, no. The National Construction College is a specialist training college which trains people in construction, but we don't do the normal stuff that a further education college does. We don't do plumbing, brick laying, that kind of stuff. We do the big construction stuff. Big bits of plant, steeple jacks, scaffolding, the really specialist stuff. We train about 30,000 people every year across our eight centres across the UK. We're going to do a basic concrete slab. It'll give you the opportunity to set things out to line and level. And yep. We are employer led. We're led by the industry, so it's industry dictating the agenda. What training do they need to deliver their projects? And it's those skills and that training that we develop and deliver to the industry. We could have a sore back by the end of the day. I started as a trainee quantity surveyor on the YTS um, training scheme 25 years ago and I've gone through the ranks through to quantity surveyor and senior QS and commercial manager and ended up as an area director. So it does prove that you know, that training is quite important. Apprenticeships are important for employers really for three key reasons. The first is it means the employer can get the skills they need, the skills they need to grow and develop their business. Secondly, it means that they can actually begin to instill their own company values and employer values into the young person. And thirdly, it really increases productivity. You mean finding the short one? I have. <laughs> <laughs> You think of the breadth of the construction industry, right from craft all the way through to being an architect. There's truly something there for everybody. Everybody can make a contribution to the construction industry. But not only that, you earn. So you earn while you're learning and you think of the fantastic opportunities that gives you as a young person as well. Uh, I decided to get into apprenticeship because you could stay as a labourer for the rest of your life but you ain't going to go up in money and you, everyone needs to get a trade behind them nowadays with the recession how it is and you're getting to learn a, a, a job for the rest of your life, you get a trade behind you for the rest of your life so really you, you, you're doing the best you can to, to, to get a better job. I've been on the apprenticeship since November 2011 and the apprenticeship has been a very good way to learn and earn money at the same time. I've been down at the Emirates in London and they've got a 75 million pound project going on there. Um, it's very good. I've been doing engineering with the engineers. They taught me quite a lot, in fact. It's, they're very good. To do something as physical as this is, is a tough call, really. But uh, yeah, he's picking up the important parts, understanding, lots of questions, full of enthusiasm, which is exactly what you want from a good apprentice. Uh, sort of how's it going? Yeah, very well, yeah. Yeah? Well, yeah it's going all right so far? Yeah, not too bad so at all. So what have you been up to? Well, we're, we're just mocking up a, um, a, a path, so um, we've got the shutters in place and we've got the polythene and we're that's, that's ready to concrete. What's the polythene called, Gavin? It's a slip membrane. Yeah, it oh, is. Very good, very good, very impressive. Yeah, I'm learning. I thought you'd yeah. be on a three-storey building by now. What I really get when I see apprentices coming through the college, and over 700 of them in total, is the real buzz when they achieve. Now they've got a trade, now they've got an employer, now they've got a career. And it's fantastic at our award ceremonies when you talk to the parents. And the parents are saying thank you. Thank you for actually spending time with my lad or lass. You know, thank you for seeing them grow up, helping them to develop, not just in the technical skills, but about being a better young person. That's what gives me the buzz. Fantastic job. Pro. <laughs> Good job.
Brilliant. Excellent. The worst bit, look, is where the instructor put the brush mark on. Yeah. It's not square. Yours is, mine isn't. <laughs> Would you pay for it as a key? Not that bit. Not that bit, but no. you would that I bit. I would that bit, yeah. That's been really good today. It's, it's gone really well. And um, yeah, the actual finished product, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite proud of. At Morgan Sindel, you know, we're really passionate about training and we put them with our best people and we want them to come out the other end being the best. I think apprenticeships are invaluable to the industry as a whole because if we haven't got apprenticeships, we haven't got an industry in the future.